Why, hello fellow flowers, Violet here, and welcome back to part five for the guitar lanyard. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a string in case your main string gets a little short, like mine did here. And then we are also going to be splitting the body into two parts so that you get kind of the sound hole that you would naturally see on something like an acoustic guitar. All right, so without further ado, I'm loosening up this purple string on the end that's near the long main string. Um, so I'm loosening up that first one. And then I was originally going to use these strings that are in the middle, but I'm gonna tighten those up and I'm gonna use these ones instead. So the third from the end, and then I'm also using this string that's right on the end because I want the new string that I'm adding to pretty much take the place of the old string that was too short. So I'm just straightening that out. And then those strands that I loosened up, I'm inserting my new string into those. And then I'm grabbing that end and I'm lining it up with the other end. And then I'm gonna pull them so that way they're even on both sides. So pretty much I just loosened up a couple of the strings, fed the new string through those, straightened them out, got them even, and then I'm gonna pretty much stop using the other strings and I'm going to start using these as my main strings. Okay, and then the next step is to do five straight stitches to lock everything into place. And on your fourth and your fifth stitch, you want to pull the strings as tight as you can. So that way you get a little bit of curvature to the body. So you can be a little bit looser on the first, second, and third strands, but on the fourth and the fifth, you really wanna try to kinda of crank down on those without breaking the strings. So let me just show you the body really quickly. You can see that the lanyard, because it's had those strings added, wants to expand. And after a couple of stitches, and after being tighter on my tightening with the fourth and the fifth, it's starting to round out a little bit on the body. And that was after just four stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and do one more. All right, so now after you've done the five stitches, what you're going to do is separate all of the strings into two sets of eight, and you're going to be making two separate lanyards out of this now. So if you want, you can tie the first set of strings out of the way like I've done here, just kind of keeping it out of the way. And then this odd string out here, because you'll notice to get eight, you have to have three purple and four purple on one side. And then obviously the eighth string is going to be the white main string. And for this part of the body, I'm going to be doing it twisted, so it's okay that the strings are kind of slanted. But I'm just going to go ahead and start a new lanyard right here, going over and under these new main strings. Alright, and for the last string, you might have to kind of tuck it under the purple string since it's a little bit crooked. but. All that's okay because this is going to be the twist stitch that we're doing for this part. All right, and I wanted to take a step back and just show you quickly what the whole thing is gonna look, look like when we're done. So this is why we're doing the twist is because we need to get those twists into the body so that we can have that sound hole. So I'm just going in and doing the twist stitch now and then I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side and we're gonna go for a 180 degree rotation. So however many stitches that ends up being for you. All right, so once you've done that, you can clean up any strings that you've had to drop and replace like I'm doing here. And your lanyard should look something like this with the two twists 
Um, not completely all the way around because if I had done a 360 degree circle, then my whites, my white strings would be where the purple main strings are. But they're actually not. They're facing the other way. So we're going to tuck those down kind of the same way that we did when we added the white string back at the beginning of this video. So we're loosening up the end purple string right here. And I'm going to tuck my white string under that. And then I'll do the same to the other side, and you'll see that by doing this, I am redirecting those white strings to be back in place so that they're ready to be my main strings. And then that way you get kind of a cohesive white stripe going down the side of the guitar, rather than it being all white on the side and then it suddenly being purple because your main string was in the wrong place. So this just kind of helps with the overall, you know, aesthetic of it. <laughs> And now we are ready to proceed with just a straight box stitch. And the white strings are going to be my main strings, so I'm putting those back into their main spots. And you'll notice that right here I have this loose purple string because that used to be the main string when we were doing the small stitches uh, or the smaller lanyards. But we're now going to have to redirect that back in. So you'll see how that kind of came around the white string and now it's going over and under it just like the rest of these purple strings are doing now. And as we get to the other side of the lanyard and we're finishing up with our over under action, um, we are going to have to redirect that other purple string that used to be the main string on this side. So I'm going to pull him out over here and he's going to go over under and then this string on the side, I'm going to leave him over under and now I can pull it all tight. So everybody got to go back to their places kind of. All right, so you can see that the body is now joined back together. So in the next video, we're going to be dropping some strings so that the bottom of the guitar gets a little bit of a, you know, roundness to it. Um, so we covered a lot. We added a string. We did a couple of stitches. We broke the lanyard into two smaller lanyards, did a twist, and then put it all back together. So this was probably the hardest part. So if you've made it this far, congratulations, and I will see you in the next one. Great job, and we are almost done. You got this. Bye.